Manchester United. Listen, Man United nil, Arsenal won. And listen, wasn't the best game from Arsenal. In fact, we was poor. I think we actually were terrible today. But the three points is all that mattered. But let's talk about my boy Saliba. Anyone who actually think we overrate this guy, you're just a hater, bro. I can understand bias because, you know, you hate us, you understand? So you want to find something wrong about our club every time. But if you watch football with your eyes, you cannot deny William Saliba's importance to Arsenal and how great this young player is. I mean, he was first in so many things today, man. The, um, tackles, you know, clearance, interceptions, all of that. He was first and he was man of the match. And this is a boy that's got man of the match at Anfield, at the Etihad, and now at Old Trafford, man. Unbelievable, this youngster. But yeah, let's get into the game, man. United, literally, it was such a dead game, if I'm being real. Um, United just lacked the quality. That's it. They just lack quality all over the pitch um Ahmad looked decent he looked quite bright um but again it's just an end product Garnacho was lively all game no end product lacks IQ that's the, it's just the thing about Garnacho he's actually positive wants to get the ball run at his fullback but it's the final crosses he's shooting like it's like the intelligence part of the game that he lacks um Austin obviously Casemiro, blad. Oh, my God. I test Miro. This guy. I mean, for our, our goal, bro. Like, this guy kept um, Havertz so onside. Blad. It is crazy. At that level. This is a five times Champions League winner, by the way, guys. A five times Champions League winner we're talking about here. Um, that's a terrible. At Sunday League, you'll get onto a centre back for playing the, um, the forward of onside like that, man. Unbelievable. And Trossard, who's been fantastic this season, with an underwhelming Martinelli this season, Trossard has come in for Martinelli and he has absolutely owned that position. So many crucial goals he scored for Arsenal this season, man. Um, I think he's our second top scorer as well, you know, this season. He scored loads of goals this season. Um, he's been unbelievable, man. And he's made that left hand side his own position today. Um, no denying that because Martin even came on again, um, could have scored. But yeah, like I said, not the best of games, but three points was the most important thing. We hadn't beaten Man United at Old Trafford for like 16 years, blad, you know, and we're able to do it. And if you look at it in our in our um in our running, people thought we would either drop points against Chelsea, Spurs, or Man United. We're able to beat all of these teams, bro. The, um, obviously, Villa um, is the team that beat us um, home and away this season. But like I said, the 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 Chelsea's, the Man United. The Tottenham, you know, struggled to beat us this season. So, yeah, it just shows, isn't it? We've taken it to basically the wire. We've got a game left. Um, man, It's just in Man City's hand. There's nothing we can do. We just have to go win our last game of the season as well and hope for the best. That's all we can do. I think Man City are not going to drop points, but this is football. You never know. Anything can happen on the day. They might hit the post 50 times in one game, you know, and not score. They might get crucial injury before the last game of the season. You just never know, innit? But all we can do is hope for a miracle. But most importantly, just take care of business and push them to the end, man. But yeah, man, Arsenal, three points today. Man United, like I said, they just lack the quality, man. Hoyland not involved. We had so many players that didn't play well. We didn't play well today, like I said. Saliba is the one player that was just heads and shoulders above everyone on that pitch, man. But yeah, come on, Arsenal.